We have a goose with a pretty serious problem tonight. I got home from work and just recently found it, so I put the kids to bed and I'm coming out here to catch this goose. Oh, uh, it's not one of these. Uh, it's that one on the right down there. All right, baby, I'm gonna pick you up easy. It's okay, we gotta get you inside if we don't get you in. If we don't take care of this, you're gonna die. We're gonna do this in the house. This goose has a prolapse vent. It's basically where it's the vent is a multi-purpose hole that birds lay eggs out of um, conduct reproductive activities and lay and also um, their feces comes out of their vent. And the prolapse is basically where the vent turns inside outwards and part of the insides have fallen out. It doesn't look like it's dried out too bad. And that is one of the big risks with a prolapse vent because if those internal tissues dry out, it can, they can be really damaged. They're not meant to be exposed. First thing, we're just gonna clean this as well as we can. I'm actually going to just soak that whole area for a few minutes in water and try to clean off. There's a little fecal contamination and some feathers on there. Try to clean that off. I'm going to change these gloves probably a couple times. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just put some lube on my hands, on my gloves, and try to figure out how to turn this right side outwards and put it back inside of her. So that's what I'm doing. I just gotta be super gentle. And there may be an egg in here. Sometimes, maybe often even vents that prolapse from what I've read, uh, is caused by an egg. And so there may be an egg that we have to remove in order to get it back inside of her, so. I'm pretty sure that's intestine there, and a lot of times when you, you have intestine that falls out. I did consider just putting this bird down, but geese are very tough, so I thought I'd give her a shot at getting it back in and seeing if we can retain it. You can use sutures to retain it. I'm not sure I'm confident enough to throw sutures in this bird and don't have the equipment. Okay, I think I got it in. I'm changing my gloves again. I didn't feel an egg in there. There was nothing hard in the outside and I stuck my finger in gently and I didn't feel an egg um, at all inside. Now, it went in really easily, just basically putting gentle pressure on the whole area and it kind of sucked itself back in. There is the vent area. It's a little bit large and inflamed, it's kind of inflamed and stretched, and that's why it prolapsed, or at least the result of it prolapsing. But it looks like a generally normal vent area. I'm, I'm encouraged that we got it back in, but it's a really high risk that she's still gonna die from it um, for a couple reasons. One, it may just fall back out again tomorrow if she tries to lay an egg or even when she goes to the bathroom. Also, it's possible while it was out it was damaged by the other geese. I wasn't able to see any damage, but when you have your internal organs hanging out, uh, sometimes they can get damaged. And then the most, probably the biggest risk after the reprolapse is uh, infection. Anytime you have 
insides and the outsides and you put them back in, you could end up with a peritonitis or a, um, a bacterial infection. I'm going to, I'm going to pick her up actually, I'm going to put a hand over that whole area and just hold it firmly. So while I'm moving her, um, and lifting her, we don't have this, we don't have it re prolapsed right now. I'm actually like physically making sure that it doesn't fall out. I'm going to take her out and put her in a really small area and we'll give her food and water out there and then um, we'll update you as to how this goose is doing over the coming days. The irony of this is I was just admiring like the beauty of this day and enjoying it so much. I was like, man, it's so great to be out here on this beautiful place. And then I looked over and saw the goose and I was like, oh no. <laughs> so it's like the beauty and the responsibility <laughs> of keeping all these critters. I'm gonna put her in this chick brooder out here. It's close enough to the others that she'll be able to hear them and she'll actually be right around them, but it's nice and clean and there's some like grass and chickweed in there. All right, try to keep your insides in you, okay, babe? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so I got my mess cleaned up up here and I'm getting ready to go to bed. I think that if she just re-prolapses again tomorrow, I'll probably end up putting her down. It's just always a balance because like, there's so many things that you can do for this problem. Um, but for me, I look at how much suffering is it for the goose in, re in relation to how likely is it that the goose is going to survive. So we, we reduce the prolapse, and I think that's just the least I could do for this goose. To give her a chance, it's possible that she'll be able to retain it herself um, and won't get an infection and will survive and have a happy life. We'll, we'll see, though. Guys, thanks for joining me for this kind of sad, a little um, gross episode of Art and Brie. And we'll see you next time. We'll update you on the goose. Goodbye.